What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways on how to increase internal rotation of your hip. My name is Dr. Jordan Fairley here at The Source Chiropractic, and so often we see people coming into our office with compression in the hip, referral down to the front side, and it's often due to an anterior pelvic tilt, which compresses the front, so instead they externally rotate, which then leads to collapsing of the knee and also the foot because we need internal rotation to walk, squat, and move around. So these are three simple ways to increase the mobility of your hip. First thing I want you to do is to drop it down to the ground. We're going to a 90-90 stretch. So one leg is pointed out, the other the opposite direction. So my foot, knee, and hip are at 90 degrees. This one that is back is inwardly rotating. This one that is out is outwardly rotating. In this position, you might start to feel some compression and tightness. This can be a good indicator that you should probably do this stretch. In this position, I want you to push through the opposite hand and bring your rib cage, spine, and torso up over your pelvis, which is gonna increase the internal rotation of that hip. Then I want you to take a huge, deep diaphragmatic breath. So take a big breath in your belly all the way up to your chest and rib cage so you can own this movement. And you'll notice a pulling that happens here. So in this position, you can rock your pelvis forward and backward. So when I go belly button down, pubic bone down, and then backwards the opposite direction, I'm forcing slight rotation in the pelvis or in that hip as I'm going through some of this movement. So again, you can go rocking forward, big breath in, own that movement all the way back, big breath in, own that movement. If I wanted to go into this even more, I could go into a modification where I'm now pulling upwards, bringing my pubic bone forwards, which then stretches the front part of that hip capsule, but I'm in more of this anterior pelvic tilt. If you're like, hey, Dr. Jordan, I'm in this position, I can't even get into that at all, you can do a modification where you use a yoga block. So you can put this under your butt, which raises us up and takes less, takes strain off of that hip so you can get more into this movement. And now I have so much more freedom of motion. So if you have really tight hips, and you have a big decrease in lack of rotation in that hip, this can be a really easy way to get into this movement and start to get some motion into that hip here. You can also pull all the fascia and tissue. So I can pull my quadricep, I can pull my hamstring and force that into more internal rotation, bring my torso up over that and then take a huge breath in. And so I'm filling that up, expanding my rib cage, expanding my pelvic bowl and owning this movement. So that is the 90-90 stretch. And you can always flip to the other side and do the same thing and even yourself out. Just notice the difference on side to side. The next thing we're gonna go into is a psoas stretch. We're gonna add a couple different modifications. So the side we're trying to get more internal rotation is gonna be the leg that's back. The other leg is gonna come forward. In this position, I'm gonna bring this foot out to internally rotate this hip. And now if that's really tight, a lot of people go into this arched position where they have anterior pelvic tilt and they do this to avoid that tension or compression on the front side. So we're gonna try and increase how our pelvis is moving with that hip. So I'm gonna want you to bring your pubic bone up towards your chest and then take a huge breath in here. As you breathe, you're stretching the diaphragm, the hip flexor, the iliac is pulling on that, and we're in that internal rotation. So I can rock back and forth. I can take big breaths in. I can reach that elbow all the way to the sky, pinky all the way to the sky. I can rotate slightly to the opposite direction and take a huge breath in. So I'm pulling all the fascia and musculature on my rib cage and the pelvis, but I'm in that internal rotation here. Now, because so many people are in that anterior pelvic tilt, we can stretch the backside and open the backside too. So in this position, I want you now to slightly round your rib cage forward by bringing your sternum, the bottom part of your sternum forwards, but we still are bringing our pubic bone up. So in that position, now I have a slight rounding of the QL and the muscle on the backside of my body. I'm taking myself out of that forward pelvic tilt and taking huge breaths in. Here, breathing, reaching, pulling my pubic bone forward, forcing that into some internal rotation. So we got some mobility of it, we stretched it out, and now we're gonna utilize this motion. So this is motion is gonna be a step back with getting internal rotation of the hip. So this is gonna to translate to all the different movements that you do out throughout your day. So left foot is gonna stay forward, we're gonna step back with the right leg, and right arm is gonna go forward. So we're gonna go opposite hand from the hip that we're rotating towards. So we're gonna step back here, 
bringing this right hand all the way forwards, stretch it out, take a big breath in, breathe, contract, come all the way back to neutral, step back, reach forward. So we're reaching forward with this opposite hand in order to keep our hips square so that we're not rotating away and avoiding internal rotation of the hip. So as I step back and rotate forward, my hip is internally rotating, come back up. We're going to keep on doing that so we can rep this out. So you can do 10, 15, 20 of these before you do any sort of activity or even before you start your day to get some internal rotation of that hip. So if you've been having pain in the hip, if you have knee pain, ankle pain, collapsing of the arch, low back pain, often it's due to decreased internal rotation of the hip and an anterior pelvic tilt. So I highly recommend committing to this. Turn these three things into a flow. So spend some time on the ground, getting internal rotation, that 90-90 stretch, bring it up into that lunge decompression stretch, and then utilize that movement with the functional step back. And you'll notice the quality of your life and of your body getting better and better and better. I love and appreciate you. If you have any questions, please let me know.